guys, my name's Mackenzie and I am the blogger here on Personal Business. So I grew up in Aurora, Colorado, which is like a suburb of Denver, and so all of our houses look the same and we all have great lawns and massive decks and we're all just, you know, Midwestern. Where I live, all we have are like shopping centers and malls and it's all just mass-produced chain stores. All we have are like the Walmart with the McDonald's and you go there on a Friday night and it's considered a night on the town. And I think there are only like two independent businesses so maybe that's why I just love them so much because I didn't grow up with them. I am an out-of-state student obviously at ASU and when I came here and discovered that there were so many independent businesses around where I live, it was so fascinating to me. It's kind of like this underground culture that just is kind of overshadowed by mass chain stores. Now, the great thing about independent businesses to me, each place has its own different atmosphere and its own different kind of separate culture even. Like, when you go into Revolver Records on Roosevelt Row. I mean, it's just this whole culture that I have never been exposed to in my life. People with, you know, multicolor mohawks and piercings in like five different places on their face and they're all just in love with music. Like, that is so awesome to me. And you go into like Joe Bot and order some crepes and it's all just hipster with secondhand furniture and crazy walls and bathrooms that are a little sketch. I'm just amazed at how it's kind of like a portal for us to just step into other people's lives and share our passions with them, just even if it's just for like an hour or two. You still have that kind of deeper connection with independent businesses, I feel like, than you get with like Walmart or Target or wherever. Like you may go to school with the Chick-fil-A cashier or go to Barnes and Noble just to talk to that cute guy who works at the information desk, but I mean you don't really get a deep connection with the owner or the passion that comes with running a business. Maybe it's just because I didn't grow up with this um, that I'm just so fascinated with it now, but that's why I'm just in love with independent businesses and why I want to tell the stories of the people who decided to start them, especially in this economy, although I did hear we're getting better. I don't know. Economics is not my forte. So that is what I have for you right now and look forward to more posts to come. Alright, bye!